Shalom, Erev Tov, good evening, Hyvää Ilta, which is the same thing in Finnish. It is a real pleasure to welcome you all to the ambassador's residence tonight um, to discuss around an issue that we are all passionate about, namely education. First, I would like to start by thanking everyone involved. Um, we had a most delightful visit to Javne Elementary School in Givat Olga, Hedera. It was a wonderful day with the enthu enthusiastic professionals, teachers, and especially the children. It was wonderful to witness the joy of learning. So thank you so much. I also thank our trusted partners, cooperation partners, with whom we have been working uh, for a long time, from uh, Seminar Hakibu Jim and the team led by Professor Nimrod Aloni, as well as the Israel Center for Educational Innovation, its executive director, and uh, uh, Dr. Futa Fadaman, and Dr. Lee Perlman, and all your colleagues. It's been really great to work with you. Dear guests, we are particularly happy to welcome um, Professor and uh, Research Director uh, of the Uvascula University, Madame uh, Maria Cristina Lerkanen. I, I feel bad because I'm turning your <laughs> my back to you all the time. Professor Lerkanen is an internationally recognized expert on early childhood education developing reading skills, effects of motivation, teacher-student relationship, etc., etc. And um, uh, she is a sought-after speaker on all continents. So we are very, very uh, fortunate and happy that she could fit a visit to Israel to her schedule. So, welcome. University of Uvascula, Uvascula, I'm already, you know, pronouncing it like a foreigner, but it's Uvascula. It's a research university and one of the world's leading universities in the fields of learning and teaching. It has the oldest Finnish-speaking teacher training college in our country, established in 1863, before our independence which happened 1917. The college was created by Uno Syngneus, who, was, who is often called the father of the Finnish primary school system. He was a very pragmatic, practical innovator, and Maria Cristina has shared with me some of his ideas, which I think in their simplicity are pretty um, bright especially, or for instance, one issue was the fact that um, teacher training was uh, both for women and men in the same colleges. And the idea behind was that they will meet, maybe fall in love and marry, <laughs> and fill in all the small schools in Finland, <laughs> because we had... Uh, schools of two, uh, two teachers, and it did work. <laughs> it's, you know, <laughs> all over the country we had these small schools where the, usually the wife was teaching the, the elementary, uh, the first three grades, and the husband was uh, teaching the older children. And there were other equally practical ideas. So um, educational research is not always rocket science, it can be something pretty down to earth. Okay, now um, I really want to speak for Uvascula. I don't know if it's a household name, but in the, in the field of education it is. It's, uh, it's really uh, been the cradle of Finnish uh, teacher training and educational uh, research. And um, it's for a good reason called the Athens of Finland. 
it was the cradle of the arts and sciences when those terms got Finnish words. It was the time when we didn't even have our own written proper language. And I'm, I'm sure here in Israel you can relate to this kind of issues where you start from scratch. And we started more than 150 years ago. And it's this long and cons consistent work that has brought the quality of our education to where it is today. We in Finland, you here in Israel, share the recognition of the importance of education and, um, and the belief that this is the basis for a good society. With these words, I conclude by welcoming you once more and inviting you to a most lively discussion. So thank you very much. Thank you, Ambassador. And can I ask Professor Nimrod Aloni to come up and say a few words of greetings, please. Shalom, Rulam, Erev Tov. Dear friends and colleagues, Honorable Ambassador of Finland in Israel, Anu Sarela, and distinguished guests from Finland, Professor Maria Christina Lerkenen. Since we have gathered tonight to deal with language acquisition, I wish to open my greetings with two classical lines uttered by two cultural heroes. The first classic line, and please take it with a sense of humor, taken from the movie Casablanca and spoken by Humphrey Bogart, goes as follows. I think this is a beginning of a beautiful friendship. Shifting now to our context, it is with great appreciation and satisfaction that I can state that it is already 10 years now of a beautiful friendship and fruitful collaboration between Kibbutzim College of Education and the Finnish Embassy in Israel. On the part of Kibbutzim College, this partnership enabled us to learn in person from many Finnish educational scholars and leaders, as well as to engage together in academic and pedagogical projects. I hope our, part, our Finnish partners have also found worthwhile the knowledge and, and insights we have contributed to this tango. The second classic line of great relevance to the presentations and discussion tonight was articulated by the famous linguistic philosopher Ludwig Wittgenstein. The limits of my language are the limits of my world. I think that from the educational point of view, wishing to empower the young towards full humanity and active engagement in democratic citizenship, one cannot exaggerate regarding the crucial role of literacy for achieving these goals. It is also worth stressing that for all of us here, the mission of promoting language acquisition goes far beyond our academic concerns. It is part and parcel of our activist pedagogy, reaching out to the less fortunate communities where educational empowerment is most needed. Finally, I want to express my thanks and appreciation to Lee Perlman of the Israel Center for Educational Innovation, to Susan Milner, the cultural attaché of the Finnish Embassy in Israel, and to my colleagues from the Faculty of Education at Kibbutzim College, Adi Sharabi and Nira Vale. Lee and Susan originated this partnership. Adi and Nira joined and in the last month, they all worked as a harmonious team to make this evening possible. Thank you again, Ambassador Sarella, for inviting us all to your residence for this discussion evening. And thank you again, Professor Lerkenen, for coming to Israel to share with us your knowledge and insight. I wish us all an enriching and inspiring evening. Thank you. Okay, thank you.
Thank you, Nimrod. And can I ask Dr. Lee Perman from the ICEI to come and give your greetings, please. Good evening, everyone. Truth in advertising and exchange are the two thoughts that come to mind. Truth in advertising is that this evening is called language acquisition in school settings in Finland and Israel, inspirations, strategies, and dilemmas. And that's what we're gonna experience tonight. And we're gonna experience through an exchange that we in ICI have had the pleasure of having with you today and yesterday, it feels like much more, Professor Lurkinen and Ambassador Saurella and Suzanne, you joined us this morning in the school that you mentioned, Ambassador, the ICI school in Givar Olga. And the exchange, I think, tonight is going to be not a straightforward exchange because if it was just a nonprofit ICI with an academic colleague, world-renowned expert in a world-renowned academic institution, that would definitely be interesting and inspiring. If it was just about Finland and Israel, that would also be inspiring. But here, we've put together a program that is focusing on language acquisition in many kinds of school settings. In elementary schools, where ICI focuses our energies, in early education, where the Kibbutzim College of Education is one of the leaders, not only in teacher training, but also in field work, as well as in special education. And so, there are gonna be a lot of levels and layers of the exchange tonight. The format is very straightforward. We're gonna hear a keynote from Professor Lerkunen on state of the art, and we'll hear from her. We've, you've been speaking to lots of groups, and tonight, just to focus you, our friends and colleagues of our organizations, of the Embassy, of the Kibbutzim College of Education, and of ICI. We're delighted that our board member, Professor Alice Shalvey, is here with us tonight. I think everyone in this room knows, but just to make sure that you know as well, that she receives awards left and right, including a recent award for her contributions to the State of Israel. And also, Alice, I think as we all know, it's the receiver of the Israel Prize for her lifelong contribution to education. And Alice, thank you for making the effort to coming from Jerusalem. And so we're delighted to be here with all of our colleagues from the Kibbutzim College of Education, from ICI's programmatic partners in the municipalities, a number of our colleagues from the municipalities, the nonprofits that we work with, like the Yeda Group is here tonight, and many of our philanthropic partners here. And I thank all of you for coming. And I want to thank you, Ambassador Saurella, for opening your residence, and you, Suzanne, for making this whole program, including tonight, happen. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Lee. So, uh, can I ask uh, Professor Lerkanen to start her presentation? And uh, uh, Ambassador Sarela already introduced you, but I would like to just add that uh, we're delighted uh, that you come and, and share with your knowledge uh, of uh, teaching and uh, instruction. And uh, Professor Lerkanen is the recipient of, uh, of uh, several awards, also trusted uh, uh, positions of trust in associations of uh, teacher associations in Europe. Uh, recipients of, of awards also in, in um, the U.S., in, in Europe, uh, as well as domestically in Finland. Uh, but uh, even though you now teach other teachers, um, it's in interesting to note that uh, Professor Lerkanen began her uh, career as a preschool teacher. The primary, sorry, primary school teacher. So she's uh, ran the whole uh, uh, gamut of uh, positions, and uh, we look forward to hearing your lecture. Please. <laughs> 